Hello, I'm going to show you how to get to the air filter on a 2007 ZX6R. It should be the same for the 2008 ZX6Rs. There's, you have to remove three bolts on the right side. Two bolts on the top of the tank. And one bolt on the left side. For the right side, just when you take out those three bolts, just like pull it, carefully pull it towards you and it should pop out. There's like pins to go into the, the rubber to go in these holes right here. And it just pops out. Same thing for the other side. It's just push pins push pins, just pull it and it should pull out. Just be gentle and it pulls out. After you remove those, the left and the right side fairing, you have to remove the seat. There's a bolt on this side and a bolt on this side. You gotta re remove two of them. Once you remove the two screws from the seat, the seat should just comes out, just pull up and it removes. And here's your battery. Next, I'm gonna take out the two screws close to the handlebars. After you remove the two bolts, the tank should just go up. If it doesn't, you might have to loosen that bolt, just loosen it. But first try if your tank goes up when you remove these two. First see if your tank goes up. Mine went up. <laughs> and you only need like a stick or something to support it. I had a plastic pipe. Just support it like that. Just be careful so it won't fall. But it seems pretty good right now. Next you'll have to remove all these screws. There's like nine of them. Don't forget there's a one screw, it's like in the middle. So don't forget to take that one out. Once you unscrew that screw, you could just leave it in there. And um, next, th disconnect the green. The green sensor, there's like a button you press and it just pulls out, this little button right here. Just press that and pull and it pulls out. Next will be, um, there's this thing. You just like pull it out, pull it out and it's like right here. Just, uh, just free it from the box, that's it. And you just should be able to pull this up and it'll discount, and it'll, you will be the filter under there. So you pull this out and the filter's in there. Just, in there, yeah. You just change your filter out if you need to. Alright, so I pulled out the filter. Here it is. And now we'll be replacing it with the uh, KN air filter. So I just put it in, it just puts in there, make sure it's seated and good, everything's good, and start putting everything back. After you put this thing in good, just start uh, screwing in the piece back, and don't forget about that screw in the middle that we took off. It's still in there, so just put the screwdriver in there and screw it in. 
After you put all the screws back, don't forget to reconnect. Don't forget to reconnect the green wire back and don't forget to put this thing back into its tab and put the, the rubber wire or the rubber thing inside this. Just put everything back how, how it was. And next we're gonna lower the tank. Here, just put these two on top of the tank screws back. Tighten them. Next we're gonna put the seat back on. There's like a little lip in the back. You have to put it. And it just slides in, that's it. The lip goes in the little hole over there. And just put the two bolts on left and right side back in and tighten them. Next, we're gonna put the right side on. Just line up the tabs. Just line up the tabs. And push them in. And then put the screws on and tighten them. Once you tighten that, let's go to the other side and put this one on the left side. Same thing, line up the tabs. Line up the tabs and just push it in. And that should be it, that's it. We change the filter and not that hard. Easy to do by yourself. Just follow directions and take your time. And that's it. See ya.